What's up, my Foy Squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy whatever day I get to post this video for you guys. I had to switch hotels today because the hotel that I was in uh, was booked up after my stay, and some big cheerleading contest or something like that is going on. So I had to switch hotels. Luckily, I found a hotel that was just four miles from the hotel that I was at. I have this hotel now for the next three days. Hopefully after the next three days, I will be able to, to leave and either decide whether to go back to the campground until my car is repaired or to continue up north to get my tags and title and all of that good stuff. I haven't decided yet. I'm not gonna think about it too much right now. I'm just gonna relax and I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of this hotel because this hotel room i should say because i'm kind of digging it and you'll see why okay as you walk into the room to your right you're going to see this gigantic refrigerator and next to the refrigerator is the kitchen which i absolutely am digging for my short three day stay i have a sink a little bit of counter space i have a two uh two burner uh, induction cooktop there. And there's another look at it from this angle. Have a microwave up top, a little space there. And there's a, another look at the refrigerator. Pretty nice. And here is the TV desk area. Have a large trash can, a large trash can, not one of those little tiny trash cans that you put two or three bags of fast food in there and you're done for. I like, like, like this area. I rarely turn on a TV when I am staying at hotels unless there's a tennis tournament going on. I might try to catch a couple matches, but for the most part, I'm sitting right there at that desk on my laptop looking at some YouTube or Netflix. And as we swing around to the left, we have the bed area there. Has a nice little uh, lounge kind of chair with an ottoman. Pretty nice, pretty nice for a three night stay. And last but not least is the bathroom right here. And there you have it. It's a decent sized bathroom. All the necessities that I'm going to need for my three night stay here. It's pretty nice, pretty nice. And again, another large trash can. So that's it, guys. Let's go this way and turn around and give you guys a look from this direction. And this is it for the next three days. So guys, I have uh, some pots. I brought uh, one small pot and one my my large frying pan. I also bought my, um, which I will not need because I have a induction cooktop here, my one uh, burner uh, cooktop. So I'm glad I don't need to bring that up. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to bring my refrigerator and jackery up here because it's powered enough that it should last the next three days. Uh, I am thinking that I might just take my food out of the refrigerator. I mean, in my, yeah, out of the refrigerator in my van and just bring that up here and put into the refrigerator here as opposed to lugging the refrigerator up here and the jackery up here. So I'll probably bring the jackery up here the last day and recharge that just in case I decide to hit the road and continue up north. It will last until my, you know, my time up north and I don't have to take that in and out of my van. I mean my car. I said my van. I must miss my minivan or something. <laughs> um, as of now guys, I have still not heard from the adjuster. Uh, that is the person that is supposed to go over to where my car is and assess the damage and also uh, let me know where they're going to be taking my vehicle to get repaired. Um, I hope to hear from them by Friday because I do want to make a move on Friday, like I said. Um, again, have not decided. I'm definitely leaning towards continuing up north. So, or I might call 
Because the last time I went all the way up north to get everything, my, my tags for my um, trailer, the guy at the UPS said, oh, you could have called us and we could have sent it to you. So I might do that because it's not that important for me to uh, put the things in my car into storage. I mean, I got plenty of space in my car to keep it there until my next time I have to go up or decide to go up north. So I'm going to um, check on that tomorrow, or I don't know when it will be by the time you guys see this video, but I'm going to check and see if my plates are there as well as my all the, all the things that I need for my um, vehicle and have them send that to maybe at the campground. We'll see. All right, guys, that's going to do it for now. Um, I might do a little cooking in this video. We'll see. Uh, or I might go out and about and do some things. They have an aquarium here, so I may go and do that, but I'm feeling right now that I'm just going to kick back and relax and maybe do some cooking later on. So we'll see. All right, guys, I am all situated now. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon, so it's still relatively still early. I set up my pot and my frying pan. I bought my smaller pot, which is just the right size for me to put one of my uh, boiling bag rice in it. <clears throat> and also, I put my little bit of food up in there that I brought with me. I decided to go ahead and bring my jackery and my refrigerator up here instead of running back and forth downstairs and checking on it every one or two days. And I placed them right there. It has a wall socket right there where I can easily plug my jackery into when it gets low in the next two or three days. And I brought my big clothes bin up here. Uh, I have one pair of shorts in here and I'm lucky to have that in there because <laughs> I thought I had all my shorts at, in the trailer. And I bought some, I stopped at the mall. I went to the mall right after I left the hotel because it was 11 o'clock. And I was like, okay, what am I going to do until 11 to 2 to check in? And I bought some of my favorite, favorite body wash from Bath and Body Works. And this is mahogany teak wood. I absolutely love this. They had a sale, buy two, get one free. And I didn't even know that until I got to the counter and I had two already and the woman told me. And so she went and got me another one. I also went while I was at the mall, I bought two hats because the hats that I have now, remember I bought, first of all, I lost the blue one. It's probably in the minivan. And the red one that I have here, I'm telling you, you sweat on that thing and the sweat is hard to come out. I've washed it several times. So I bought a thicker hat. They are, I thought this was black, but it looks, I don't know. It looks, you know how some hats look, this look like it's a navy blue, but it'll work out. I did want black, but they didn't have black in my size. And of course I like all of my hats to be fitted so that I can have the choice to wear them either frontwards or backwards. Most of the time it will be backwards as you guys know. So I got two hats. I'm so super excited about the hats. Don't ask me why, I'm just super excited. I've been wearing hats all my life and I like them. So I did a little of that while killing time. And then I went to Chipotle, which I didn't even film. I did take a picture, so here you go. All right, guys, I'm going to kick back now, get on my laptop, watch some Netflix, and that's going to do it for today. Hopefully, I will hear from the adjuster uh, tomorrow. If not, I'm going to call my home uh, location office up in PA and ask them and let them know that I have not yet heard from the adjuster yet. All right, guys, I'll check you later. I am going to cook me something to eat, and I'll see you guys at that time. Okay, guys, it is later on in the day. I last spoke to you guys. It was about 2.30 in the afternoon. I had just checked into the hotel, and now it's around 6 or I think it's close to 6.30 as of now. So I am about to go ahead and cook me some dinner here at the hotel since they have this nice kitchen for me to use. I figured I'd go ahead and use it. Now, I did see a grocery store along this little strip that they have here, the uh, Speedway Strip, International Speedway Strip. And I was gonna stop in there and get a couple of little things, but 
I didn't see a grocery store, so therefore I'm gonna have to make do of what I have. So I have my frying pan here and my small pot here, which I'm gonna fix some boiling bag rice. I'm just gonna season the rice as best I can with some salt and pepper. I don't have any kind of sauces or anything. I have eaten just plain white rice before with uh, fish and everything, and it was okay. Only thing I'm really, really gonna miss is some hot sauce. So let's get the going. The one thing I do not like, or there's two things I don't like about the uh, induction type uh, stoves, uh, ovens, no stoves. One is you can't tell how hot it is. You know, with the fire, you can look and see, you can raise and lower the fire and have a better idea and better control of it. The second thing is, what was the second thing? Oh. It takes longer for this type of oven to heat up and bring things to a boil. At least that's my opinion. All right, so let's turn this on. I hope that's that one. <laughs> you never know. You never know. All right, I'm gonna go and grab some of my butter because that's what I'm gonna cook this fish in to help give that fish some more flavor. Be back in just one minute. Because y'all know, y'all know I am not going out of town without my butter. You know, I'm not. It's just not gonna happen. So we're gonna do this fish with a little bit of I also did not bring any dishcloths or anything. <laughs> Don't know what I was thinking there, but guess what I did bring? I brought a little bit of oil. To go with that butter. I also have a bag of this type of rice that I can just go ahead and put in there. I'm gonna find me a grocery store so that I can find get me some broccoli or something, because I'm gonna be cooking here the next three, next two days. Mm. All right, I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna wait until this comes to a boil and start working because the fish is not gonna take that long and I don't want the fish to be sitting waiting. I want the rice to get done first. All right, so I'll see you guys once this rice start boiling and get a head start and then I'll get on that fish. All right guys, the rice is going pretty good now. As a matter of fact, it's almost finished. So now let's start working on the fish. Man, this thing came with like three big pieces of fish. I don't even know if I want one or two because these things are massive. Look how big this fish is, one piece is. I don't know, I think I'm only gonna fix one. One it is. 
I don't think I brought my aluminum foil here, so. Aish. <laughs> I also did not bring any dishwashing detergent, so. <laughs> Aish. So what I'm going to do, is I'm just gonna lay these two pieces on here until I finish cooking and then I'll run down to my car and get some aluminum foil, wrap this up, put it in the refrigerator. That's the best I can do right now. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and season this fish up right here, this piece right here up. I'm gonna get that going a little bit. is onion powder. let that sit for a minute. Give that rice time to puff up. In the meantime, I'm going to flip this over on the other side and repeat. Lots of pepper because these are the only seasonings that I have with me. So, want to season it generously with what I have. And I see the butter has melted. And that's it. that pan time to heat up. fish is going to start really frying up a little bit. It shouldn't really like create any kind of smoke because I put butter and oil in there and the butter is going to help the oil not to burn. So shouldn't get too much of anything happening there. I'm going to go ahead and put this on here. Help keep that heat in there and help it to cook a little bit faster. So once this is all done and I flip it over and everything, we'll go ahead and plate it up and eat it up. <laughs> <laughs> 
How about that? <laughs> I'm gonna put this up and go outside to my car and get my aluminum foil. Smells so good. Nothing, nothing. I knew I wasn't going to tear apart. That thing is still saying hot and there's nothing on it. I don't know if I have the knobs right or not, but I'll look at it in a few. But in the meantime, this is my simple meal. I'm waiting for Kathy to put out her post her video. I talked to Kathy earlier and she said she was gonna be posting the video. Well that was like probably close to an hour ago. That was before I left out and went to Best Buy. But um, she hasn't posted yet. I wanted to watch her video while I was eating. video and I will say that this rice is bland as a mother <laughs> it is bland it needs some help or I should have fixed the, the flavor packet rice mm, my goodness 
I can't even fake this one out. My goodness. I might have to throw some hot fries on this rice. <laughs> I ain't joking. I might have to throw some hot fries on this rice. <laughs> Give it some flavor. <laughs> Maybe I can scrape some of the hotness off the hot fries <laughs> onto this rice. This rice is bland as a... Mm. I got some almonds. Maybe I'll chop up some almonds and put on here or something. My goodness. Oh, Anthony, that was way too much on that side. Okay. I taste a slight improvement. Oh my goodness. That's slightly better. Not too much, but slightly. <clears throat> but I have to eat it because I don't have nothing else to eat. Of course, I can go out and buy something, but I'm not going to do that when I got food already here. And I got a kitchen to cook the food. Okay, that light is still on, so this stuff must be... Okay, I know what it's, I know why. Okay, I know why. It's not on, what it's saying is, the stove is still hot. The hot is still uh, lit up in the middle. But if the eyes was on, one of the left or right little circles would be lit up. So, it's just saying that the, um, it's still, it's still hot. Tomorrow, well, I would have done it already by the time you guys see this video. I'm going to call my insurance company at the office. I may have said this already earlier. And let them know that I have not heard from the adjuster yet. I think this is the blandest meal I've ever fixed. <laughs> I should go down to the front office and say, hey, I got a couple packs of ketchup or mustard. 
But better yet, a pack of hot sauce. Cup of mayonnaise. Anything. <laughs> The fish tastes pretty good. Good thing that's well seasoned. Oh boy, I'd really be bad then. You know what I should have done? Now that I'm thinking about it, I should have put the, um, after I took the fish out, I should have put the rice in the frying pan with some more of my butter and then seasoned it like that. And then this rice would have had a little bit more flavor to it probably. I'm just guessing. <clears throat> By the way, I didn't go and get my aluminum foil yet. I didn't want to leave my food on and left the hotel room. So I decided to wait until I finished eating and all that stuff. I just went ahead and set the uh, fish in the refrigerator uncovered and I'll get my aluminum foil after I eat all this and then I can run down and get it. Good thing this is onion powder and not onion salt and, and garlic salt. Well, I think if it was garlic salt or uh, garlic onion salt, it would... Is there such a thing as onion salt? I remember it's garlic salt. I think. I don't know. I don't even know what I was about to say. Mm, okay. I'm going to show you guys as bland as this meal is, I am going to eat every bit of it. <clears throat> I could have easily said, all right, y'all, that's going to be it for today's video. As always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos, and I'll see you guys the next time, and then, whoop, right in the trash can. <laughs> This fish and this rice would have been right in the trash can. But I will do better tomorrow. I'm glad I got something sweet to eat after this, like my um, tapioca, tapioca pudding. Or oh, I have um, some of my um, my yogurt, my uh, Activia Yovit, uh, Yovit, <laughs> my Activia Yovit. <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> Did y'all hear that? I got some of my Activia Yovit. It's only going to get worse, Anthony, with the speech. I'm going to have a full-blown speech impediment by the time I turn 70. I'm going to be mispronouncing everything. All gone.
Good boy, Anthony. Good boy. This has been my favorite, this has been my favorite um, sweet thing to go to. It's this tapioca pudding. Oh, excuse me. Y'all like tapioca pudding? It's delicious. I said I was gonna make my own. Never did. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Ain't nothing bland about this, boy. This is delicious. Mm-mm. Mm. After I finish eating, I'm just gonna watch some YouTube. I meant Netflix. <clears throat> I'm finding it harder than now to watch a, uh, find a good show that I'm interested in watching. I like to find series and watch series. And it seemed like I have been watching so much Netflix in the past year or so that I'm finding it harder and harder to find a series that I'm interested in. What am I watching now? What am I watching now? Y'all know it's a Korean show, right? Okay, now, now this Wi-Fi at this hotel is moving mighty slow. Before it was, it was moving right along. Look, Netflix ain't even come up yet. Okay, this is what I'm watching now. <clears throat> it's called Move to Heaven. Move to Heaven. I'm almost finished. Awesome. I also got to finish watching this show here. Judge D's Mystery. He's a... Uh, uh, a crime solver. Now this is my That's what I'm watching. I don't think y'all can see it. Move to heaven. But all right, guys. That's going to be a wrap. All right, guys, that is going to be a wrap for today's video. I finished my dinner. I'm just about finished my dessert. <clears throat> As always, thank you guys for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys the next time. And hopefully I'll have an update for you guys on what's the next move um, on my car. And whether I'm going to head up north or go back down to the campground. I'm going to see if I can have my mail at the UPS sent down to the campground. And I'll let you guys know how that goes. All right. Bye, guys. FOAs.
I got the cutest smile. You know what? I never ever was a open mouth smiler. You know that? I always that because I had some dimples. I don't know. I had dimples when I was young. I don't know if I still have them now. Like, look. Ooh, that's it. I think they still there. <laughs> This side is a little more indentation than this side. <laughs> I'm so silly. <laughs> see y'all. See y'all the next time. <laughs>